Okay, I took the Skywalker out today um, for some more test flights uh, with the stabilization and the FY31AP. Uh, the wind today was again phenomenally strong, about 15, 12, 13, 14, 15 miles an hour static on the ground. Um, up in the air 100 feet or so it you know it really 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 got uh, gusty um, I had a pretty good experience with the FY31 AP again still have a few little odd issues but it seems to work really really well I kind of wanted to give you an idea of how I have my Skywalker set up now um, I flew today with the GoPro on the wing right here and I'm gonna attach a little bit of that footage at the end but uh, yeah, it's just stuck on the wing on one side, the uh, lens is in the middle, and that worked out pretty well. Move that out of the way. All right, here we have the, the meat and the potatoes. Um, again, I'm using 72 megahertz. Here's my antenna uh, out the back. And on the tail boom right here, I opted to mount the uh, the GPS antenna for my uh, OSD, my Cyclops OSD version 1.5. Uh, again, I'm using an Exceed RC 100 and some odd gram motor. This is a 3015-1200 kV with a, an APC 9x45 prop. I think it's a 9x45 or 9x4. Let's see. And yeah, it's an APC 9x45 prop, and that gives me plenty of speed. Uh, pretty long flight times, about 12 minutes on a 3000 milliamp hour battery. I usually run uh, two of them, so if I'm gliding around, I can actually get about 30 minutes of flight time or close to it. Uh, today, nowhere near that. It was so windy, this thing was just like working its butt off. But uh, let's see, moving forward, I've got my GPS antenna right here for the FY31AP. And it seems to work pretty well, even though I don't get the red light, the LED, red LED flashing on the FY31 uh, itself. I do get a red LED right up here on the front of the GPS that flashes when it locks on. So I'm not sure, you know, maybe something wonky with that uh, autopilot, but everything works really well uh, no problems with the uh, return to launch no problems with uh, fail safe uh, return to launch I uh, have not tried G GCS um, waypoint navigation yet that's probably going to be for next weekend um, up front I've got my FPV kit contained pretty much completely contained in the canopy here pull that off get it off Velcro's on. Basically, what I've got here is my camera mounted on the nose, the antenna sticking up there. Underneath, I've got uh, 900 megahertz, 800 milliwatt video transmitter, and a little battery pack to power that. So this is actually a completely self-contained FPV pod. And the reason I did that is I've got a couple of other scratch belt planes that. Uh, I thought it'd be neat to be able to just pop this on those planes as well and so I designed them to accommodate this canopy and so I can just you know pull it off this plane put it on that one self-contained good to go so far so good seems to be working all right okay moving on the inside let's pop this hatch open it's kind of messy in there I know but um, anyway we got right here the FY31 AP mounted this little shock mount system right there um, I've got back here my Cyclops OSD I have up front there actually right down there you can probably see the current sensor I've also got up on the top a UBEC a UBEC to power my uh, my receiver and servos and the rest of this junk and then right inside here I've got my Corona 72 megahertz receiver 
So basically run my antenna out here through this tube down the tail and then it just hangs off the back right there. So yeah, that's my Skywalker. Here's a little bit of the video uh, from the flight footage today. Um, and hopefully I'll get some more video uh, next weekend.